Hello everyone. Um, my name is Jenny. Hi. Uh, my name is Texas. My name is Alex. Mm -hmm. Hello everybody. My name is Layla. My name is Bobo. I have a condition called dissociative identity disorder. So my dude, it's toast. Hi, my name is Raya. Nice to meet you. My name is Alice. Actual harming things. You know, I just want to actually be like, hi, I don't give them to see me as the other thing, probably, because I watched it with Chloe. Well, I'm just, just like, <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Layla and I am Z. Um, my name is Nate. Um, it's your girl, Tracy. Hi! Hello everyone, um, my name is Jane. Hi, uh, my name is Texas. Hi, my name is Harry. Hello, um, my name is Jake. I want to make a channel on YouTube to document our lives. And this is it. Welcome to our channel. Since I was four, I split into different identities. Um, YouTube! Oh my gosh! Hi YouTube, it's Jess. Um, today we're going to talk about dissociative identity disorder. So just a little background, I am diagnosed with PTSD, dissociative identity disorder, major depressive disorder, social anxiety disorder. Okay, so the first question is, what or who are the fragmented identities? Since I was four, I split into different identities um, and this manifested itself uh, in the form of six people living in the same body i am the host i am the original i am this body's rightful owner as you can say we go through a childhood trauma and it is so traumatizing it is so horrible that we need split our identity into different pieces so that pieces can protect other pieces when i was four max came in as a six-year-old boy um, and that makes sense because I needed an older brother to take care of me. Hi YouTube! Um, it's Mac. Sorry, I have social anxiety so even though I'm speaking to a camera, it still feels like I'm speaking to thousands of people on the internet. Alex. Alex is a 13-year-old girl. Um, that was back when I was bullied in middle school and uh, Alex taught me how to be sociable and how to make friends and how to make- Alex and I'm so excited to see you all! I'm gonna get more. This hair was a bad idea. Hello people on the internet. You guys wanted to meet me so here I am on Alex's special request. It's Jade. And it's nice to meet you all, by the way. You guys have such lovely comments. Hi, everybody! <laughs> I'm Casey. Nice to meet you all. Thank you all for watching our YouTube videos. So we hit 108 subscribers! Oh my gosh! This is so exciting! I mean, Alex is the one who... Max likes to read books on physics and uh, watch videos on multi-dimensions or whatever. Uh... Hi YouTube! Oh my gosh! Just started to film! I was so afraid that she was not going to allow me to do this, but I started this YouTube channel and I'm so excited. Max and I... Oh, sorry. Hi, my name is Alex. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm so excited to meet you all. And if you have any questions, just comment down below and maybe we can make it up. <laughs>
，你要有感受，绝对不是冷酷无情的杀人魔。我想用自身的行动，鼓励同为精神疾病受苦的病。大家好，我是 Andy， 今年三十四岁，在二十岁时被诊断出罹患了情感型视觉失调症，会去看医生。是因为当初一直听到耳边有人说要下毒害我，已经持续了一个多月。那时吃东西都一边哭一边吃，然后我有上网查过资料，意识到这可能是幻听，就去大医院挂精神科的急诊，抽血结果检查出来，医生就建议我住院，一住就住了四十几天。然后医生告诉我，会生这种病，主要是遗传的几率比较大。学校方面，家人帮我办理休学。因为生病，我丧失了继续念大学的机会。出院后，我因为药物的副作用，整天只能躺在床上发呆，无法思考，大脑一片空白，只能静静地等待时间流逝。我其实是非常无力的，直到八个月后，医生改换新药，我才有办法恢复到比较接近正常的思绪。其实精神病人跟一般人并没有两样，一样有良知，一样有感受，绝对不是冷酷无情的杀人魔。我想用自身的行动，鼓励同为精神疾病受苦的病友。我想用自身的行动鼓励同为精神疾病受苦的病友，希望能有更多人站出来分享这一路走来的辛酸血泪。只要多一个人说话，社会就多一份理解，少一份歧视，就越有可能洗刷精神疾病的污名。大家好，我是 Andy。为什么很多有视觉失调症的病友们都不愿意吃药呢？主要的原因有两个：第一，没有办法接受吃药后的自己。视觉失调症的好发年龄大多在二十至三十岁之间，在这个年龄层发病的病友，可能以前学业成绩优异，念好学校，或工作成就显著，在社会上占有一席之地，但是吃药后一切都变了，病友们可能被迫中断学业。或是放弃工作，要从头开始学习跟病症相处，以及适应药物的副作用，就好像一个人从云端坠入谷底，这真的太痛苦了。很多病友都没办法接受能力变差的自己，因此选择停药。第二，对疾病有错误认知，有些病友们的知识水平不高。还留有旧时代的刻板印象，认为有视觉失调症就是神经病或是疯子。为了维护自己的自尊心，打死都不肯承认自己有病，当然也就不肯吃药了